we don't script the music too heavily to where we're trying to match every moment that the player is doing or anything like that. And it has a weird way of justifying itself to you. You feel like this big sweeping score as I'm rounding this bend and seeing this mountainous valley view is playing for you. Questions on the pronunciation? Uh, the full quarter note. Let's try it. Five, six. I had this idea that the music for Skyrim would be the Elder Scrolls theme, but sung by a barbarian choir. So I called Jeremy Soul, who does our music. I mean, this is in 2006. Jeremy, I hear the Elder Scrolls theme as sung by a barbarian choir. Okay. How are we gonna do that? I don't know. You know, what are they singing? They're singing this song in the dragon language to the theme of Elder Scrolls. Emil Pagliarula, senior designer in this game, does a lot of the writing. He's able to come up with things I don't know how he does. Emil, can you write a song that works in dragon language that rhymes with the Elder Scrolls theme when translated into English also makes sense and rhymes? As the story goes, he kind of sat on it for a while and went home one weekend and heated up some mead and wrote the thing. He came in on Monday, there it is. And it was like, oh my gosh, this actually works. Or do you want a solid break right here? Um, let's, let's, let's go ahead and carry it. Jeremy Soul, his work on the main theme of the game set the tone for the rest of it. And eventually when we went to, uh, out to Los Angeles to Sony's scoring stage, and then had just a fantastic choir and choir director. Settle. And the choir was only made up of about 30 people. And what they would do is just do three passes on each verse of the song. Now you've got the sound of 90 people singing this thing in this massive hall. You take a break from it and you come back, you still get the hairs raising on your neck every time they come to the big chorus. We send you to plant some phony evidence in the Mark's house and then tip off the town guard. The rest takes care of itself. Sound like you can handle it? I think the best NPCs, you can tell a lot about them from the voiceover. But I still hear the call of the blood. We all do. It is our burden to bear. But we can overcome. That little bit of writing and how they say hello is... I think, like, one of the hardest things to do. If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of Whiterun. You know, in Oblivion, we had, like, 12 actors. And, and that was one of the complaints, is you walk into Oblivion and you hear a lot of the same voices. So for Skyrim, we want to definitely improve on that dramatically. And, and we're talking dramatically, like night and day. I would gladly retire from the world where such a day to dawn. And this game, we have 70 plus actors doing 100 over 110 roles, a lot more than we've ever had. You know, it was uh, for about four to five weeks, three voice studios working simultaneously. Let's see if we can get people trying a quote unquote Nordic accent. You've come all the way to Skyrim, you're, you're at the tip of the continent here. Guys are big and burly and have beards. The women are big and burly and have beards. And uh, everyone's handy with an axe. And it, it's a fine line of what sounds good and what sounds like <clears throat> ridiculous. And so we spent a lot of time casting. We had some great actors. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. That's there we go on, Joan. Really cool. Some of the more specific names joining us on the project. Christopher Plummer, Max von Sydow, 
Joan Allen, also Linda Carter, Michael Hogan, Vladimir Kulich. You're jumping from line to line, and so your emotional states are changing just on a dime. Good. I can use the practice. One minute you're screaming. Come on! This is our best chance! The next minute, everything is all fine. And it's fun as an actor to see if you can just hit that moment. Be careful. The Force Sworn are just as dangerous as they look. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, she's great. We also have Christopher Plummer, who I've wanted to put in a game forever. You know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. The voices are all important, of course, in media like this. I've been 60 years in the theater and film, and uh, this is the first video game I've done. Be gone! Before even my philosophy has tested me on the breaking point. We are men of peace, and you are not. The process is, is fascinating, absolutely. So I'm, I'm enjoying myself thoroughly. They were perfect for the part to begin with. And I think everybody had a really good time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right on the money. Thank you, sir. And now 22, we're moving on to a different lesson. No doubt the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. <laughs>